Okay, so without a doubt, it has been a long time. But I'm back when I can be, I guess. But this is this is kind of what we're working with now. The main system is still in. There's been major changes to that, which I'm going to cover in another another video. But I guess this is the demo board that I'm going to be showing. So as you can see, there's nine devices on it. We have an XP optical there. Discovery multi sensor and another XP heat. That's on a Discovery Sounder Beacon Base, integrated sounder base, and then we have our our four MCPs. This one's into our IO and these three. We have a strobe down here as well. This is our panel, which is another DXE that I'll be covered in another video. But yeah, basically it's programmed slightly differently to the old uh, to a normal system. It's separated into four zones. Which all have different ringing patterns because I programmed it through the through the software, which I, again I'll show in another video. This is basically just an I'm back thing. So basically, how it's set up is this puts all zones into full evacuation. This will pulse the will put that into full and put that into alert. I think it is. Yep, and then this one will do the same. However, this one will also do full evacuation like this one, as you saw in the little in the little reel. So what we're going to do is we're going to test, probably I'll do this call point here, because obviously it's something different. And yes, the, uh, that's a con the Context Plus uh, intelligent call point. And Context Plus out there. Um, that's, that's in there. Um, yeah, so... Guess without further ado, we'll get into it. Um, I'll start with this one. You can see the cause and effect on that. I'll do this, and I'll do the snow detector up here. This does take a bit of time, so just bear with it. See, we have our output light there. And it takes about two poles, and that will go. I'm just going to put this into access mode. So you'll see now this will come on. There we go. Now just take these, reset that. Like so, then reset on the panel. Let me clear that. But as you saw, this went, that did alert, and that did full alarm. Now, if I do this detector, it is going to do, uh, it's going to do full evac on everything. Just seeing it in a second. That's probably going to kick in now as well, that I think of it, but however. I'm not going to reset that straight away because otherwise that is going to go straight back into alarm. Blow it out. Wait for, I'll wait for the pole to come in and then I'll hit reset on it and see if it wants to clear. Now, as you can see, that's come back in. So I'm just going to do a reset. And then wait for the pole to go through, make sure that's cleared. And it has done. Because although the LED isn't turned off, it takes normally two poles for that to go off. So yeah, I guess that's really the end, which is a quick thing to show that I'm still alive, basically. Um, but yeah, so if you like that, I'm mad busy at the moment, but I will try to get more. Uh, the, the, the other DXC is still on the wall. Uh, I took the door off this one, uh, off the old one, and put onto this one because obviously you don't really need a newer door. The door up there does have a newer door with the Honeywell Morley logo. I'll show that in another video. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you for being so patient.
and I will hope to see you soon probably for, for that there. Uh, take it easy.